Okay, so I'm just going to get started because this is probably going to be quite a long video as are most makeup collections. This is kind of like an overview of my family. Um, you can see my mirror and my lights which are my main feature of my whole kind of bedroom um, and they're from Ikea. We had to buy the lights separate from the mirror because I couldn't find any ones that were big enough for the size of my table that I wanted. My table, if I move down, is also from Ikea. I will have a link below. I think it's called like the Mickey um, table and the chair is also from Ikea. Then over to the left is my Alex 9 drawers and I absolutely love them. So I'm going to take you closer to my family and explain uh, more in the depth of my makeup. Here. Okay, so the first corner of my desk is filled with my mirror from Ikea. Um, I absolutely love it. I think it was around £15. Then we have my three wick candle from um, B&M Bargains and I absolutely love this because it really really reminds me of the Bath and Body Works candles uh, that everybody can get from America because they always have three wicks so I absolutely love it. Then we have my palettes that I kind of use on an everyday basis or have out because I'm wanting to start using them on an everyday basis. I have my Naked Smoky which um, is just now out and I kind of felt like I had to get this although it's kind of not my colours but I kind of wanted the whole collection as silly as it sounds. I then have my Laura Pro, um, if I can get it. This is like one of my um, all time favourite. You see, I got this wee divider off the internet and I love it because it's acrylic but it's super tight for all my palettes. So I have my Lorac Pro and my Shade and Light palette which are two of my recent favourites. I then have my two chocolate bar palettes by Too Faced. Behind that I have a chart. Uh, it's one of their limited edition palettes because I kind of went through a stage of wanting to collect limited edition palettes. I then have my C palette which is my all time favourite palette. It's got a mixion, um, a mixion, a mix of um, MAC Makeup Geek, my own kind of MAC press pigments and some Morphe shadows in there too so it's one of my favourites. I then have my little... Um, what is that like five shadows from the makeup pro store in Belfast I love it but it was very very expensive for what you get and last but not least my Too Faced um, the little black book of bronzers which I just think is absolutely gorgeous so yeah I have that too out on my little um, display I then have my lap Top, uh, which is my MacBook Pro which I edit uh, all my videos on and other stuff and I just have that sitting on my family because I use it quite a lot. Then beside that I have my MAC lipsticks which I'm going to take you closer into and kind of go through a few of my favourites. Okay so this is my MAC lipstick collection, my Jared Cosmetics lipsticks and a few wee favourites and of course my YSL, um, oh, my YSL lipstick that I absolutely adore. So a few, I'm not going to go through all these because I was thinking about doing um, a MAC lipstick collection video um, but I'll, I'll show you a few of my favourite. My most favourite MAC lipstick is um, Velvet Teddy which was Kylie Jenner's like all time favourite and everybody went absolutely mad about it. I've also absolutely been loving MAC Whirl which also was completely hyped up by Kylie Jenner. It's one of their new matte lipsticks. Another recent favourite has been Stone which was also hyped up by Kylie Jenner. It seems like I'm a little bit obsessed with her uh, lip colours but she completely has got the game right. I also have five uh, Jared Cosmetics uh, lipsticks as well. I think they're absolutely stunning. I have Underground, 1995, Buttercup, Berry Smoothie and Nude. I then have two Max Factor which I absolutely love and of course the YSL which is in shade number three and it is just absolutely stunning I absolutely love it and the packaging is just the other side of my family and as you can see I have my MAC lipsticks that I have just went through my candle which is a gorgeous oil rose gold oil candle from um, B&M Bargains I then also have all of my makeup brushes. I'm not going to go into too much detail about my makeup brushes just because I am going to do a video about kind of makeup brushes 101 and the best ones to buy but a lot of them are Real Techniques, Soeva and a few other kind of miscellaneous ones, a few MAC ones, 
um, Nancy and stuff like that. So that is the other corner of my family. Okay, so this is my first drawer of my Alex 9 drawer set. Um, basically, I have you from kind of looking at from the back of it because I set you on my vanity table because I thought that was the best setup. So I'll just go um, through a few of my shadows. This is my single eyeshadow drawer. So um, it's kind of packed, but I will go through a few things. All these eyeshadows that you can see here, these are all of my um, Milani, what are they? Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow, which I think are absolutely stunning. Like, oh, the packaging is just to die for. So, that's them. I also, at the very end here, have a L'Oreal Gold Shadow, just because the packaging goes well. I then have my pigments by e.l.f. Then some of my Calvin Klein um, gel eyeshadows. I then have my e.l.f. eyeshadow. Look at that colour, like gorgeous. So yeah, I've kind of got it from like favourites to kind of ones that I wouldn't wear on an everyday basis. I then have my Max Factor, um, what shadows are these? Earth Spirit shadows and they are stunning. If you're looking for a good single shadow get that's like a gorgeous brown colour, get uh, Terra Firma. I used to use this all the time in my tutorials and I absolutely love it. So that's what's in there along with my e.l.f. smudge pots which are also gorgeous. This is like a gorgeous gold colour. Please excuse my bob, my hair bobble on my wrist. I'm actually going to take it off because it looks horrible. Then I have all of my Essence eyeshadows at the very back here. They're also stunning. I haven't got to try them out as much as I would like to but I will hopefully get a go at them. So there's quite a lot of them. And at this back one here, I just have a few of the Essence, um, like kind of like quad things. There's a few different colours in each and then there's a few Essence duos and stuff. I then in this one have my uh, colour 24 hour tattoo. Um, I have a few of the MUA single shadows, which my god, I absolutely love them. And I also have two of the e.l.f. Um, pressed mineral eyeshadow which are also really good and I love the packaging of these I just think it's so sleek and nice um, so unfortunately I don't fit that in so I just kind of have to set it on top okay so back here I have a uh, um, L'Oreal infallible eyeshadow I then have my makeup revolution foil shadow which is absolutely stunning and if you haven't tried these you really really have to and um, they're so nice and then a wee MAC shadow, which is the only single shadow I have a MAC. And a gorgeous burnt red by Rimmel. And then there's two wee pigments there. I have two pigments from Primark, which are absolutely stunning. Although I spilled half of this one out of it. Then my two MAC pigments in Vanilla and Melon. And then I have my glitters by, I think it is... Italy Mineral Cosmetics and these are absolutely stunning. So comment below if you want the tutorial using these because I love them to bits. At the back, which I don't know if you'll be able to see, it's a wee bit awkward. Um, there's just a few bits of makeup that I don't really use, like glitters and stuff that I can use at Halloween. Um, at the back, Urban Decay primers and stuff like that. Um, and I kind of made, because I made these, um, well, props to my boyfriend, he made these dividers. So um, if you want to see how he made these and how like we both made these, please thumbs up this video and comment below and I'll post the video um, in the next couple of weeks. We made it so that the back um, kind of cuts, cuts off here and all the stuff that you don't really need that much is at the back because this is only as far as the Alex Nine doors pull out so I kind of thought just to put the more irrelevant okay, stuff. So out. now is my lip drawer. This is where the majority of my lipsticks kind of stay. Um, I don't like this drawer just because I hate the way it's organised but it's the best that I could do. So I have my Revlon lip butters which I used to be obsessed with. I used to wear them every single day when I kind of wasn't into lipsticks just as much. 
I then have my NYX, um, I think these are slightly old lip smacking colours, I absolutely love them, I have loads of them because I ordered them. I then have PS Love Matte Long Lasting Lipsticks, I have four of them which are also gorgeous and they smell really really nice. I have two um, lipsticks that I got from a wee shop in Spain and I really like these too. Um, I actually got them when I was in Magaluf. I then have like lip balms, a wee OCC lip tar in like the clear one, um, Victoria Jackson lipsticks and that's that in that one. At the very back here I then have the Balm um, lip gloss in Sap, a uh, liquid lipstick by PS Love and the Matte Me by Sleek. At the back here I have like a wee set of lipsticks, you got the four lipsticks um, by Rimmel London by Kate Moss, um, so I just kept them in the wee box just because I thought it was cute. Um, next into this middle compartment I have two of the Balm lipsticks, I then have another wee box of lipsticks, these are Revlon ones and you get nine in them. Um, that's the colours of them, they're absolutely stunning and I really recommend these lipsticks. I then have my recent kind of obsession which is these lipsticks by um, Maybelline New York. This is the new matte one which is stunning. Um, I have a lot of them and I absolutely love them and I really recommend them to anybody who has not tried them. Then I have a few OCC lip tars which I actually am really disappointed in. Um, so yeah there's that and then at the bottom just a few random lipsticks that are mostly nudes. At the back here I have a few lip glosses and stuff. I have the Too Faced Mood Swing lip gloss which changes and then a few other wee, like changes colour and then a few other wee lip glosses. Next I kind of have lip um, crayons, lip balm type things and then lip glosses and at the very back I have the Fill Lips which makes your lips nice and plump like Kylie Jenner and then at the back they are completely empty. Okay so this is my face drawer which has become a wee bit messy Um, this is just kind of sitting and stuff but there's not really much I can do so I'll just quickly briefly take you through this and again I made the storage so if you want please comment below and I will post a video of how to make it yourselves. Okay so in this first wee bit I actually have a few of the PS Love blushers which I think are absolutely stunning like ugh, and the packaging is just a die for um, and then I have the MUA highlighter and all dress your skin which I absolutely love too I really really recommend it next up I have a few wee um, blushers that I got sent to me from if I can remember from M-E-I-S I'm not too sure how to say it like Mace I don't really want to butcher their name which I probably already have but yeah that's just where these blushers are from and I think they're they're good but they're very powdery um, so it's kind of in between reviews. I then have two e.l.f. blushers um, which I really love. A gosh blusher which is also stunning and I really love the formula of that, these, these blushers. I have a NYX blusher. Um, two bouncy jelly glow blushes, a makeup revolution blusher which I hate the packaging of and a max factor one. I then have the NYX foundation and um, it is the HD studio photogenic foundation. I then have the Barbara Daly trade secrets and a few um, Italy mineral foundations which I actually really like and I'm surprised of the coverage. Then moving to the one behind I have a Max Factor uh, whipped cream foundation which I haven't tried, Bourjois um, cream bronzer which apparently is quite like the Chanel one, another wee, bron or another wee foundation and the Glam Bronze Eau de Soleil or however you say it, bronzer by L'Oreal. Next I have um, three of my Stay Matte um, powders which are my absolute holy grail, like I can't go a day without these. Um, then I have, what's this, the Rimmel Natural Bronzer and then I have just a wee Natural Collection or Collection 2000 um, Loose Setting Powder. Next I have a Limited Edition MAC Blusher, uh, another wee um, Business or Beauty's Factory Blusher, 
uh, makeup revolution blusher which I prefer the packaging on much more this has been one of my favorite blushers lately and it's the max factor um, what do you call these cream puff blush which are stunning and you need to try them down here I just have a few like kind of backups like my Hula bronzer which is in, a, in another drawer um, my master sculpt my it's this is kind of like the Bobbi Brown shimmer brick but this is by 17 a blusher and another setting powder at the back here I have a few more loose kind of bronzers um, a liquid highlighter a MAC um, bronzer a uh, backup of my Sunny um, Bronzer by NYC, a few more bronzers and foundations by Max Factor, Makeup Revolution Highlighter which is absolutely gorgeous, um, a next um, concealer palette. So really I'm not going to go through any more and at the back there's just a few foundations and stuff that I don't really use anymore. So this is this drawer um, for now. And it probably will get moved about a wee bit, but for now, I'm happy okay, with so it. this next drawer, I absolutely hate. It is my worst organised drawer, but I don't really know what other way to organise it. Nor do I really reach for the products in here, apart from my um, EOS lip balm. So, basically, I've got quite a few wee pigments that I got sent to me from Liam, or L-A-N-M-E, which I haven't tried out yet. Um, then a few wee single eyeshadows didn't fit up there. At the back I have like quads and um, like smaller palettes that don't really fit in my palette drawer. Here I have a few foundations and stuff that I need to give away because they don't suit me and I don't or I don't like them for my skin. Um, here I have my uh, Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes which I absolutely love and I really recommend everybody to try them. I then have my EOS lip balms at the back. I kind of have like extra eyeliners, extra eyelash curlers, um, glitter glue and stuff like that. So that is this drawer and I absolutely hate it. But next in my Alex 9 drawer is my kind of skincare and testers um, drawer. I have my um, micellar cleansing water by Garnier. I have like wee um, nose strips. A few cotton buds, a few things from Clarins, um, kind of uh, skin things from Clarins, and like loads of wee testers, hair oils, cotton pads, kind of stuff like that. I don't really like this video either, or this um, drawer either, sorry, but um, it's kind of necessary to kind of hold all my wee bits. Okay, okay. so next is probably one of my favourite drawers just because of what is in it my palette drawer i absolutely love this drawer and i'm a wee bit obsessed with palettes i'm just going to take you few, through a few of them um and i might even do like a video of my top 10 palettes but yeah so basically i have my matte um meat matte nude palette and um, this this one which is actually really chunky and takes up so much space is the benefit um sweetie cheeky sweet spot which was on their holiday collection and it is limited edition again i don't know why i kind of went through a phase of wanting limited edition makeup um a face sephora all of my makeup revolution um my naked palettes my two naked basics the other naked basics is down there all of my naked palettes um ben nye blusher palette which is absolutely stunning um, like it is just stunning and I use it all the time I love it then a few other random palettes I have my Bobbi Brown um, BU palette or BBU palette which I absolutely love I'm so lucky to be able to get that I have my Anastasia contour kit another um, meat or nude tube by the balm I have my Inglot blusher kit um, at the back I have the Makeup Revolution Chocolate Bar Palette which is like a gift for the Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, then at the back I have another limited edition by Too Faced. It is their holiday collection which I absolutely love. It was last Christmas. Then a few of my Morphe palettes. This is my all time favourite palette and it is the Jaclyn Hill palette. Like, oh, 
appreciate. I have another Morphe palette and a few other palettes underneath that. So that is my palette drawer and I absolutely love okay, it. So we're now onto the drawers in my actual desk. Um, these are probably my favourite drawers because they're my everyday kind of items. Um, so I'm going to start from the start and then kind of work my way along because it is completely jam-packed. Okay, so down here I have a few of my concealers, or all of my concealers, sorry, I don't even have any in my Alex 9 drawer. These are all of them. So I have like the MAC Pro Longwear, um, 17, Stay, 18 hour wear. This Wet n Wild one, which is absolutely crap, please don't get it because it's a complete waste of time. And then of course all of my collection concealers because they are my favourite. Moving back here, I then have like my Anastasia Dip Brow, all of my um, paint pots by MAC and then my brow products, so my e.l.f. brow kit, my brow sings and my Makeup Revolution brow kit. Um, yeah, and I have oh, the, also a MAC eyeliner which I use for my brows which is in Dip, dip Brown or Dip, yep, yeah, Dip Dawn. So that is that wee bit. Okay, so then on up the drawer a wee bit, I have a few of my blushers and highlighters. Um, I have my MAC Soft and Gentle. Oh, I also have a MAC Press Powder and my MAC Bronzer in, uh, what do you call it? Give Me Sun. I absolutely love it. It's like kind of a new, new one of mine. I then have my MAC um, Concealer Palette. Oh, if I can get it back in. My Mary Luminizer, a Topshop Blush, Bronzer or not bronzer, Hula and Bahama, Bahama Mama. Then I have all of my um, Milani blushers or Bake blushers. I love these. If you can get your hands on them, please do. And then, of course, the two rose style ones, which I absolutely love. Um, and then over here, we just ha kind of have my setting powders, another bronzer for some reason, which shouldn't be there. More setting powders. Okay, so on up, we have all of my MAC blushers. Um, my most recent one is Fever by MAC. It is absolutely gorgeous. I think it is completely the perfect colour for coming into autumn. I absolutely love that, blu uh, that blush. I then have my NARS Laguna, uh, my 17 Face or Define and Con Conquer kit. Um, I then have a few Milani uh, bronzers, a setting powder. I have my Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill, which is just gorgeous. And then two Wet n Wild um, blushers and a Wet n Wild setting powder. And at the back I just have my Makeup Revolution Heart um, blushers which I don't really reach for. I also have a Hot Mama uh, blusher by The Balm which is really really like the NARS Orgasm blush. So I actually love this part of my drawer the most. Um, I just think it's all my favourite things, most of my most used things. Um, and I absolutely love it. Okay, so now we're up to the mascaras and foundations. I have quite a lot of mascaras. I have the new MAC one. Uh, my all-time favourite mascara by Max Factor is the False Lash Effect in Waterproof. My eyelash curlers, the telescopic, the roller lash, they're real. Um, just a few different ones. I have a terrible habit of opening mascaras while I have other ones opening and they all dry out. So that is my bad habit, but hey. I guess I'll never learn. I then have my foundations, which is, I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, the Max Face, Mac Face and Body, the um, what do you call that one? Estee Lauder Double Wear, the Max Studio Fix, my favorite favorite um, Revlon ones, uh, Tree Match by um, L'Oreal, Stay Matte. Um, Two CoverGirl or not concealers, foundations which I've been loving. Uh, we L'Oreal and Matte one. So yeah, just a few that I have been trying out and I absolutely love them all. They're my and I kind of every day that I swap about, and uh, they are kind of double layered. Like there's two layers, so I do have quite a lot, but it's just kind of something that I have been splurging on more lately. Okay, so now we're on to the second drawer of my vanity and I'm going to kind of zoom into each section and describe what's there and um, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so here is a few of my palettes that I've kind of been reaching for. I have my Sleek Contour Kit, my Smashbox Contour Kit, my MAC um, Warm Neutrals Palette, my moisturiser that I use every single day, 
uh, makeup revolution contour kit and their new eyeshadow kit that I have been trying out. Next is on to a few of my kind of everyday drugstore lipsticks. I have a few Wet n Wild, Bourjois, Manhattan Matte Lipstick es Essence, um, Revlon, The Balm, NYX, Max Factor, all that kind of stuff. It all just kind of stays in there. Um, just to have at hand because I would wear them kind of on a more everyday basis. Over at the end here I have all of my eyeliners um, and brow products. So I have my NYX uh, jumbo stick, my liquid eyeliner, um, kind of brow gels, eyebrow gels, glitters, you know all that kind of stuff is just in there. Then if we move up, I have all my um, lip liners, which is MAC, or a few of my favourite MAC ones are stripped down. I don't like Boldly Bear actually, which is uh, surprising to a lot of people. Whirl and Soar, uh, oh that shouldn't be in there. Um, and a few L'Oreal ones and stuff like that. I then have this lip pumper that I would use on more, of, uh, more than the ones in the other drawers. My makeup, re or not makeup revolution, um, Real Technique sponge, my beauty blender in the corner here, and a wee tester off the professional. Then onto the back, I have lashes. I have the Tanya Burr, I have a few of her feel lashes, um, I have some lash glue underneath, I have just a few wee different lashes in there, and that's all that's really stored in there, so there's not very much at all. And then over to this bit, I have my MAC uh, Studio or Fix Plus. I have my Urban Decay All Nighter Set All, oh yeah, All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I have more lashes, or gel lashes here, a Kabuki brush, a really intense um, moisturizer, a few uh, scissors, a sharpener, and my Lush Mint Lip Scrub. So I really hope you like my makeup collection. Uh, I had loads of fun finally filming it because I'm now happy with my makeup storage. Remember to please comment down below if you want to see how I made my makeup storage for my Alex 9 drawers and any other questions that you have about my makeup collection. One quick disclaimer, obviously I'm not bragging. Um, a lot of people have asked for this. This sounds like every other YouTuber who does a makeup collection. But yeah, I just thought I would put that out there because I don't want any hate under this video. So yeah, please thumbs up and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.